So I've got a bayonet connector in there at the back. And the hose comes up there and just goes out through the wall onto a special cowling that comes with the... Well, it's an accessory for these. I've got some laundry in on the front. Let's close it up. Filter's clean. Let's set it to cotton something. Cotton dry. Let's put it 100 minutes. See what that does. See if that does it. Um, gentle heat is out. High heat is in. That's the way it's meant to be. This is the little flame light. So if I press start, it starts tumbling. And then this light should come on. We might be able to hear it sparking. Yep, yeah, there it is. So if we look down here, so it was difficult to see the flame, but you could just about see it. It is what it is. It's heating it up. It tumbles clockwise for a number of minutes and the flame stays on and then it stops the flame goes off and it reverses the direction for about 10 seconds and then it stops again and it goes clockwise again and the flame comes on again and there's a load of thermocouples in there thermostats even that tell the flame control module when to be on and when not to be so I think if it gets too hot it just stops burning I think it airs on the side of safety. It's a 7kg machine as well, which is bigger than usual. I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out. So it's been running now for about 45 minutes or so. When you come down the stairs into the cellar, there's a more uh, humble dryerish smell than usual. It smells clean laundry, perhaps. There, you can see the flame smell. That's better than before. seem to mind because it can get air from around the rest of the box as well it's not exactly airtight that's hot I would say to the touch that's hot but you wouldn't you wouldn't burn yourself the rest of the machines warm what I always get frustrated about with these things is the air in the hose like the hose itself and the pipe work is hot or well pretty warm and that always frustrates me because you know you're wasting that energy. And I guess I've seen people in Canada and places where in winter time it gets really, 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 really dry inside. The humidity goes down because it's frozen outside. Then they can vent their dryer straight into their house and it doesn't seem to make any difference. But not here. If you did that, it would be damp in no time. There's that indicator light on. It appears to flicker on the camera, but in, now it's stopped. And this stops. And it does the reverse for 10 seconds, maybe? Yeah, so it's reversing now. And at this point, it should be using less than one amp or around one amp. There, it stops again. It should start going clockwise. And then the light should ignite again. Should ignite. It might be hot enough already. There it is. That's it, it's off again. A blue flame, a couple of flickers. It's just a single jet coming in from the right hand side. This is it with the flash or the camera light on. So the flames it's still burning, but you can't really see it. So on the left hand side there with the brass nipple, that's just shooting a little jet to the gas through that vertical thing that you need. That just lets it all run well. Flames blow out the back then. It's pretty amazing. 
can't see them at all. Ah, okay. The burner light's gone out again, so it must be hot enough. And that's why. Let's just leave it on there and see if it comes back on. So that actually is burning now, you can just see the flicker and the flame through it. See it there, the back better. Blue flame, occasional blasts. So that's about it. What I do want to check, it's been on for 45 minutes now maybe. And it looks quite dry. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move it on, it's towels and things like that, hand towels. It actually feels dry, so I'm going to move the timer forward to the last 10 minutes, and then it should just draw air through. Turn that off in case it wants to be putting on heat again. Press start. It shouldn't light up this time. It should just tumble now because there's a 12 minute cooldown period. But if that's the case, that's actually way faster than the old tumble dryer. Which means not only is it using energy that's on a cheaper unit rate, but it's also doing it faster. And I guess that could be something to do with the 7 kg load rather than what I'm typically doing is just putting in 5 kilos of dry cotton because my washing machine is only a 5 kilo machine. So this might be. A really efficient machine. I don't know if you're really happy with it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So it's the next day again. I'm back at the machine with this tumble dryer and I've got my compressor here beside me and the air lance on it and I've just charged it up because in here as we saw yesterday there's a bit of fluff in there. Nothing much but I just want to give that a bit of a zap. Give it a bit of a zap and then then I'll turn it on just to fresh it up. Switch it off. Switch it on. Close the door. I just want to see that air getting sucked in there. It's a little bit cleaner. And that'll get exhausted through the filter and out the back. just tumbling empty but that means that the air is still getting sucked in um, you're not the reason you're not meant to run it with this grill removed on the front is because you could put your hand in there and there's electricity and wires and there's cables and the hot element when it's burning apart from that there isn't really any issue so you'll have to excuse the washing machine make a noise in the background and put it up to half an hour high heat Press start and the burner should kick in now in a minute. Oh, it's just gone onto a reverse action there now, I think. Yeah, so it's reversing for 10 minutes. It's just reversing for 10 minutes counterclockwise, 10 seconds even, counterclockwise, and then it should stop and go the other way. And this burner should ignite. There it is. Looks a lot different in the daylight than when I was taking the image at night time. There you go, it's much cleaner, I'm much happier with that. Okay, so that's uh, maybe 
the end of this White Knight Eco 43A video. Thanks for watching. See you later. And so yes, there's the snots, snots of fluff that came out just on that quick cycle. So it's just not much, you know, but uh, that's all that was in the element, in the burner element. I don't really need to clean this before the next load, but just have a look at it. Just a tiny bit of fluff there. Alright, thanks for watching, see you later.